Hey guys, so today's video is going to be super quick. Um, well, I hope it's going to be super quick. I always say that and then my videos get cut off. But um, it's today is June 6th and I have empties here. I don't think I filmed the empty since March. So this is April and May empties. So I wanted to hurry up and get it up since we're in June now. And I need to empty this bin so that I can start putting my June empties um, for this being two months, you would think this is full, but no, I don't usually, I don't know why I can't finish things. I don't know. I'm so bad at it, but, um, maybe it's because I have too much shit, but anyway, um, well, let's just jump right into it. The first empty I'm super sad about, um, this is by the brand Derma E and this is their hydrating cleanser. It has hyaluronic acid in it and oh, I'm really sad because this is like my holy grail favorite face cleanser and I plan on repurchasing it but the thing is I have so many face cleansers that I don't need to repurchase it right now. Um, this was gifted to me by the brand maybe a year ago or a little over a year and... I'm sure I would have finished it sooner if I was using it strictly just this one. But there's another one that I have that's a favorite. The two of those are my my holy grail. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do without them. And the other one is, like, on the verge of being done, too. That's not by this brand. But um, I have probably, in my bathroom, I have a little spinning tower. And I would say I have at least 11 cleansers open. Um problem is I get PR to review items so you know I have to open them even though I have open cleansers I open them and I want to use them before they expire so I don't think I'm going to be able to repurchase this for a while because I want to use some of that other stuff up so really sad um I thought when they sent me this I'm like why did they send me hydrating and I put down that I had oily skin but this, honestly, my God, I'm telling you, it's my favorite. It feels so good when you put it on your face. Like, it suds up so good. Like, so many stud, suds. But the thing is, like, you can automatically feel it, like, hydrating and cleansing. And it's so light. And it doesn't feel bad. And it doesn't burn my eyes. It's just so many good things to say. And it, I'm sure it's not even expensive. They sell this brand at Ulta. And I think it was Black Friday. I wanted to try other cleansers by them because I like this one so much. And instead of buying the one that I love, I ordered a acne fighting one. I I think it's like vitamin C. I ordered an anti wrinkle one. I ordered one from my husband, an anti firming one. And I don't know. I didn't get a backup of this, so um, I did open a new one by them. Uh, the day this one finished, which I shouldn't have, um, since I have all those open ones. But anyway, if you guys haven't checked this brand out, Derma E, I do do highly, highly, because some skincare is super, super expensive, and for this one to be so good, it's like I would say less than twenty dollars for this. Um, you get six fluid ounces. I love that it has a pump, and it's just. Okay, I spent four minutes talking about one item. That's how much I love it. Um, this is like peeling. This, I I have talked about this before. The stress relief um, line. The aromatherapy stress relief line from Bath and Body Works. But I think I talked about the um, body wash. This is also a cleanser for the shower. But it's oil to cream. So there's just a little bit left in there. Um... So it's like oil and then as soon as you like put it on your your loofah or whatever you're going to use, it turns like to a cream cleanser. And like I said in previous videos, this stress relief is my favorite aromatherapy scent that Bath & Body Works has. It's I love um, like eucalyptus and minty stuff. So this is eucalyptus and spearmint. Um, with natural essential oils and actually my husband loves all the aromatherapy too like anytime this is in the shower it's like it's unisex he uses it I use it so we go through these a lot because it's not just me using it it's both of us 
So this is from Bath and Body Works, if I didn't say that already. Um, I have a empty Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I know it looks like it says Bum Bum, but it's pronounced Boom Boom. Um, and this is one of my favorite body creams and this right now because if you guys don't know I'm pregnant and you know a lot of uh, women when they're pregnant they put like cocoa butter and stuff on their stomach to prevent like stretch marks but I feel like anything really that just keeps your stomach like um, moisturized and like um, you know so to prevent like when it starts stretching and stuff being so dry so I've been using this I like that it's in the tub I just get a big old glob out and I rub it all over my belly and I love the way this stuff smells so I have like three more jars so I'm not too sad about it um, because I have more and oh my god even the empty jar smells good I'm gonna repurpose repurpose this actually because I saw on the Sol de Janeiro's page I think someone used this as like a little flower planter and it was so cute so I'm probably going to um do that with this so anyway this is empty this is really expensive too this is the full size it is um, 8.1 fluid ounces and I want to say it's like 40 if not more dollars for this little tub so um, and I should mention my husband loves this he has one on his dresser as well um, that he uses all the time and he's funny because he knows that I have the like really big one and he's like can I get a refill so I don't know I may have to uh, tell Soul. Uh, add my husband to your PR list. Um, next empty. I'm not sure if I've had this in the empties video or not. But this is my favorite hair care product. This is Nourishing Hair Cream. I don't know if it's Magic Argon or Argon Magic. Um... But I find this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls all the time. At TJ Maxx, I usually pay $6.99 for it. And sometimes when I go to like Marshalls, it's um, $7.99. And I've even seen it for $9.99. I'm like, hey, you guys are getting a little pricey. But I really don't care. I love it that much. It says it's antioxidants and shea butter, hydrates and conditions, eliminates fizz, Provides soft, flexible hold, and it's paraben-free. And it says it's the Moroccan beauty secret. So, um, it basically is like a hair cream. It comes out white. Um, it's a leave-in, like, styling cream. And I like it because it, like, adds definition to my hair. It keeps it from being frizzy. I have very curly, coarse kind of hair, thick hair. Um, so... I, I love it and it smells super good there's hardly there's like nothing but if you can see on the rim right there it's like a little cream so and I love this stuff so much I don't I, I have never seen this in the store so I always have to go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls when I'm always out when I'm almost out and I usually I buy whatever's on the shelf if I see five bottles I buy five if I see two I buy two if I see ten I'm probably going to buy all 10 because I've been before and they haven't had any. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And then I'll try and buy something at the drugstore and it's like too watery or too thin. And it just does nothing for my curl. So, love that stuff. Next, I have a facial cream in here by Kiehl's. Um, Kiehl's is another um, brand that I really like their products. I have um, several of their toners in my bathroom right now. I, I just, I like Kills. I like their hand creams. Like, everything is um, good that I've tried. And this is like a very thick moisturizing kind of cream. And it uh, says it's 24-hour everyday hydrating formula. And leave skin comfortable. Invisibly well balanced, particularly in harsh weather conditions. So this is just a little mini that I got in like a little kit, and 
I love it. It would definitely be something that I would repurchase. Oh, I have a makeup item. So proud. <laughs> so this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. Um, it's like, you know, an OG Holy Grail for a bunch of um, makeup artists, YouTubers, beauty bloggers, etc. It's popular. Um, it's probably like the most popular setting powder at like Sephora. Um... I love it. I broke my jar. I don't know how, but I love this powder. I have probably one or two backups. I do have the um, limited edition that I picked up, I think, at Nordstrom, maybe, um, around the holidays. This is the exact... It's nothing different about it. It's translucent. Um, it just came with this gold lid and this pretty super pretty um design on the package and i feel like this package is just so pretty i leave it on my vanity and what i intend on doing since you know you can just take the little swift sifter off the top when it's empty and i can just when i do repurchase one of these i'm just gonna dump them in here because i prefer this uh limited edition packaging so um i'm gonna keep this forever and I have not really tried, but she did come out with, I have this um, mini, this is from um, Sephora, it was probably like a 100 point reward, this is a mini of the translucent, um, it's a little tiny, this is one gram, it's like super little. I have that and then I have, sorry I'm in my drawer behind me, I have this which is the secret brightening powder for under eyes by her and I bought this a while ago, this is almost empty like I, I can see there's hardly anything in here but I don't know if I would rebuy this. This is a. I feel like this leaves a white cast on me. Um, not like for flash photography or anything. I don't do any of that. But I can. I. I feel like I see white sitting under my eyes when I wear that. So, I don't know if um I'd repurchase that. I'm trying to find and I'm, I. I don't see it anywhere. And I'm like, am I going crazy? But I had this little mini guy here. Um, I had this in that new glow that she came out with. Um, maybe I used it. I was going to say I hadn't used it or it might be in the wrong drawer. Uh, who knows? But anyway, that's not the point of this video. I'm supposed to be talking about empties. Um, let me get back to what I was doing. I get distracted easily, but I love Laura Mercier. I love this powder. Definitely would use this time and time again. <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually the powder that I wore today. Um, this is always, always, always in my empties. Um, these are the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. And I use usually about one a month. So this is probably my April or my May pack. Because there's 30 in here. And I usually wear makeup every day. Um, sometimes not on the weekends, but um, if I don't use one on the weekends, I usually use one or two um, extra ones. Like if I have on like heavy eye makeup or you know waterproof mascara. But it usually only takes me one to take off all of my makeup. That's why I love these. These are super um, high, like moist. Um, like saturated with the like water on it or whatever i hate dry makeup wipes i hate the ones that are so thin that you can see through them they remind me of like fabric softener sheets like cheap fabric softener sheets i hate those kind um i just it's my preference i like a super thick wipe these are thick they're saturated and they get the job done and these are um like i said by the brand brand Kirkland it's from Costco and you get a whole case I think you get four packs of this 
30, 30 in here. So that's 120 right there. And then you get two travel packs that have 15 in there. Um, so that's another 30. So I think you get 150 for the entire case. And it's like $15. So that's like a dollar a white, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, so I think 150 is like really, really good. Um, no, that's not a dollar a wipe. I don't know. 50 cent a wipe? It's super, super cheap. And honestly, I buy a case. Um, and it will last me about six months. And I just have to buy two cases a year. So $30 for makeup wipes for an entire year. So I don't have a Costco membership. Um, I call her my work mom at work. She does. And every time I'm out or getting low... I'll ask her to buy me some, and I'll give her a 20, and she'll bring me a case, and she always brings me change, that's why I think it's like under $20, and also, around my birthday, um, she usually gifts me some, so right now, I probably have like three cases in my makeup, um, in my bathroom storage closet, so I'm never gonna run out of these, and I hope they never, knock on wood, never discontinue those, they're like best wipes in the entire planet. Next, I have um, a moisturizer by Saturday Skin, and this is their Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. Um, I think that I got this through Octoly, um, PR, PR through Octoly. Octoly is like that platform that, you know, influencers can join. You have to meet um, minimum requirements, <clears throat> and... It's, they have like a free store. You get so many credits and you can use your credits to select what you want. So they'll have, you know, however many brands on there with their products and whatever you want to reveal. You request it and the brand will look at your page or your platform. Like, because it's not just Instagram. It's like YouTube. So if they look at your platform and they think that you're qualified, they'll send you the product. So anyway, Saturday Skin sent me this through Octoly. Um, to review and I really liked it it's um I kind of did have oily skin at one point I don't know my skin is like I don't know if it's getting more mature as I age but I've been wearing like dewy makeup and it's been you know, like I'm telling you like hydrating stuff and I haven't been using too much matte stuff and I am still using like the water creams because I still have large pores and I don't want them to get like clogged so I like the lighter weight moisturizer so this water cream was really good it's not my favorite one um I really like the um Tatcha the water cream it was like the first one that introduced me into like water based um moisturizers and not so thick um but I really like that one and I like one that I finished a few videos ago um it was by a Korean brand. Oh my gosh. And I don't even remember the name. And it was like my favorite cream. Um, but I do like Saturday Skin. I do like this one. It was just. It was alright. Um, and it's bone dry. There's nothing in here. And Saturday Skin they sell at Sephora. I have face mask by them. I have another moisturizer. It's not a gel one. It's just like their regular one. It's a little bit thicker, so I use that one as a nighttime one. This one I would use um, day or night, but the thicker ones I kind of use um, at night so that it can, like, you know, sink into my skin throughout the whole night. And then when I wake up, you know, I'm still going to wash my face. So I feel like if it is clogging or something, I'm washing it off. I have a face mask in here. This is by the brand face tory um it's like face tory and they're actually a monthly mass sheet mask subscription box and i really like them they i think they have a four mask box and a seven which is like their lux box and I, i'm not a hundred percent sure on the prices because they sent me a box or two as like um PR to review 
And this, they have different brands in there of their sheet masks, but then they actually came out with their own sheet mask. So this one is actually by them, and it's called Ace That Face. It's a collagen mask, and um, it's really hard to, like, say how much you like a, a sheet mask or not. Like, sheet masks are sheet masks to me, unless I have, like, a hundred of the same ones for me to really, like, use over and over. I can't really tell if it did anything for me. I mean, the only thing that I can say is that I enjoyed using it. It was... It didn't break me out. Um, did I notice like a miracle? No, but I have not found any that I instantly notice um, anything um, happened to my face. But um, another thing that I like that I can describe and let you know whether I liked or not is the fit. And this one fit my face really good. It was, I don't like the ones that I try to put on and they're like, hurting my eyes because they're like stabbing me and I can't get you know it's go over my eyes or it's slippery and it's falling off the face and you got to keep moving it up um so I don't like those kind and this one didn't do that so if I saw this one again and it's affordable I would definitely try this one again but I do like this membership uh subscription I like I said they've sent me probably two or three boxes and each box they sent me had seven in there and I still have a drawer full of them. So besides the ones that they sent me and my sheet mask collection, I probably have at least a hundred sheet masks. So would I sign up for a subscription box? Not right now because I have so much. But if you are a sheet mask lover, it is something that I think is kind of, you know, different kind of a subscription because there's so many like makeup subscription boxes out there and like to have a sheet mask subscription is kind of different um then i have this by knc beauty this is a collagen infused lip mask and i got this in boxy charm i think they sent three of these and this is the last one that i had um i used the other ones i really really like this um this really moisturized my lips like when I feel like my lips are so stripped and lip balm and lip therapy lip treatments are not doing its job I'll throw on a sh uh, lip mask um and usually this one and I have another brand I don't know who it's by um Patchology I think yeah they're, they're by Patchology but anyway if you haven't tried a lip mask, I recommend these if you have like super dry uh, lips that need like a treatment or something. So this one says it conditions, moisturize, plumps, hydrates, all natural, no parabens, no sulfates, no artificial dyes or fragrances, no animal testing. So you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and it's recommended you use it two to three times a week. But it is safe to use every day, it says. Um, I probably would do a lip mask for me, myself, because my lips don't get that terribly bad. And I do wear um, lip products daily. Um, I only do these about once a month. So, I really like this, though. This is KNC Beauty. And I really like it because it's pink packaging. So, pretty. Then, um, this is my first time... Um, trying, I don't know if you guys have heard of this company. It's called Sugar Fina. And they have, like, sweets and stuff. And we were at the mall and I came across them. I had seen a bunch of people talk about them before. So I went in there and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I think this was $7 for this little cube of gummy candy. But being pregnant and seeing something, you're like, I want it. Um, these are the sugar lips. So they actually looked like this, like a little lip um, cut out. They had red ones and pink ones in here. And they're strawberry, cherry, and watermelon flavored. And I love strawberry, cherries, and watermelon flavored candy. And I got these because I was... I had been craving like sour patches, like sour candy. And these say pucker up to these sweet and sour gummy lips in mouth-watering flavors of strawberry, cherry, and watermelon. So they sounded delicious. So I got them and I think they had like, um, it was $7. I think they had like three for something going on. So I picked up some other ones. They're like strawberries, 
I don't know why I didn't keep the container because I finished them both, but they were like a uh, strawberry shape. And of the three that I picked up, this was my favorite one. Maybe that's why I saved it because I wanted to tell you guys about them if you haven't tried. If you've been to Sugar Fina before and you don't know or you haven't tried Sugar Lips, I recommend trying this one. They were so good. Like I was trying to like save them. Like I didn't want to eat them all in one day. I literally, this little thing lasted me like a month because I was like, I went in April, by the way. It was around my birthday because when I signed up, she's like, oh, it's your birthday month. So, go pick something free. So, I got like a little baggie with more stuff in there. And I think I had picked the, the baggie with the sugar lips in there. So, I had actually ate those while I was still walking around the mall. But I signed up for something. I don't know. It's like a reward club. But I really like them. Um, they are pricey. I was with two of my friends. And they're like, you're paying $7 for some gummy bears. Like, seriously. But they're delicious. And I will buy them again. Um, the last item that's in my basket is this foundation. And yeah, I know you guys are looking at it like, that looks full. It is full. It is not empty. I just wanted to show you guys that I was throwing this away. This is by Remo London Lasting Finish 25 Hours with Comfort Serum. And I do love this foundation. And I was sad. I went to reach for it. And I saw that I had wrote the date on here that it expires in 2018 March and we are in freaking 2019 June so this is a year and three months old expired and foundation is one item that I will not use expired well sometimes I don't know it's expired because a lot of brands don't put expirations like this one actually had it on here um like it says it expiration 3 2018 I just happened to write it a little bit darker but um I have sensitive skin so I'm not gonna put something on my face like completely coating my face that I know is expired because I don't want to break out so I just wanted to show you guys when I put this in my basket it was actually super separated and I wanted to show you guys how bad foundation looked but like sitting there and stuff and like shaking it up it like got back to its original um texture but I wanted to show you guys like it was like oily and nasty looking but anyway I'm tossing this I'm not keeping it so I wanted to include that and I do have another empty sun in my basket because this is a wall plug-in and my vanity mirror is behind me and I always have my beauty room smelling super good these are the plug-ins from Bath and Body Works this one is a light up um plug in so when I plug it in it lights up and these little things come out you just turn them it's like the refill and this is empty that's why I was like I'll include this in my thing but this is what it looks like when it's full I'm gonna put the scent in this is one of my favorite scents at Bath and Body Works um that I like to have in like my beauty room um because it's like a girly feminine scent so I don't put this like in my bathroom or around my house I have like I have specific scents for every room I have these plugins everywhere like in my kitchen I like like lemony or like citrus in the bathroom I like clean linen fresh kind of scents around my living room I have like beachy coconut kind um, my husband likes in his, um, like the room where he gets dressed and stuff, he likes it to be clean and linen smelling, which, if you guys don't know, is turning into the baby's room. So, um, anyway, this is rose water and ivy, and it smells like roses, and I'm obsessed with it. So, and it's pink. I always have this one in my beauty room. I bought, like, these are usually, like, six for um 30 or 7 for 28 like depending on whatever cell they have on so I have like 20 of these rolls of water because they smell so good um so anyway it comes like this and then you just turn the little thing um and then you see the is it a wick and it's like saturated sometimes they turn it upside down just to like get it coated and what's the matter papa my cat's crying and you just turn it in here and that's what it looks like nice and full so I love these 
I love Bath and Body Works. And I just stuck it in my wall and plugged it in. So it's going to smell so good in here any minute. And I usually take the top and just put it on the empty one to put it in the trash. But So that's it, guys. Those are my empties for April and May. Um, I hope that wasn't too boring because I don't have a lot of empty stuff. I always think, like, oh, my gosh, this is going to be a good month. I, like, emptied so much stuff and then. Every time when I come pull this bin out, I'm like, that's all I have? Like, so embarrassing. Um, I try, I try. I get really close to finishing stuff. I just can't seem to finish it. So, anyway. Um, I hope you guys are happy that I filmed something, though. Because this is, like, three videos in, like, a week that I'm uploading. I went from, oh my gosh, I just found another empty that fell out of my garbage. Because it's so thin. I'm like, where'd this come from? This um, is an eyebrow pencil by ColourPop. Which I've had in my empties before. Because I, like I said, I go through these a lot too. I do my brows every day. Um, mostly every day. When I don't forget. When I'm not lazy. I do do my brows at work. So I, I take all my eyebrow pencils and shove them in my drawer there. Uh, the ColourPop ones are so good. Five freaking dollars. Um, versus like Anastasia brow was for like $22 when I discovered ColourPop I'm like oh, I can buy four for the price of one Anastasia one um I have never paid attention to how much product is in one of these let's see it says this is 0 0.003 ounces let me see if I have an Anastasia one because I do buy those when they're on sale I do have Anastasia one. So, oh, it's the same exact amount. It says 0 0.003 ounces on here. Just like the ColourPop one. That's not going to focus, is it? Nope. I'm going to focus. Anyway, take my word for it. They both say the same thing. Um, so, yeah. Five dollars twenty two. Five twenty two. Yeah, I'm gonna buy four of these. And you guys are like, but you have that one. Yeah, I bought it when it was the Ulta fifty percent off, and it was eleven dollars. It's still more than the five dollar one, but every now and then I want to use the Anastasia one. Um, I do like the Anastasia spoolie better, but I. It doesn't really matter to me. I mean, this one is a little bit more flimsy, but it gets the job done. Um, this is like ultra, ultra thin is the only thing that I care about. I don't like the super thick ones. And this one is perfect. I wear the shade Banging Brunette. Um, they have a, a huge color selection though. So if you guys have not tried ColourPop ones, you should try them. And they sell them at Ulta so you can earn points when you're placing your order. That's all guys. Um, the next video I plan to film is a what's in my purse. I filmed it already but I had to delete the entire footage because I do not know how to stop showing my credit card information on camera and I don't know how to edit it to take it out. So 45 minutes worth of video needs to be deleted now and I need to refilm it. But we got to wait for my purse to get junky again because I cleaned it out in that video. So now I want to show you guys all the mess I accumulate. But now it's like clear because I took everything out. So anyway, um, I'm going to make sure that I either omit my wallet from the video or cover up my credit cards. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.